In today's video, we're taking a look at how to integrate TT Lock devices into Home Assistant. Check it out. There's a whole bunch of different smart lock manufacturers that add the TT Lock Cloud into their smart locks. And one of the main reasons that they do this is because the TT Lock provides an easy implementation that allows them access to voice assistants like your Amazon Echo, Google Assistant. You get things like remote locking and unlocking. You can get statuses and different alerts from the lock and a whole bunch of other things that you get all in the tin just by adding the TT Lock Cloud. At the time of recording this video, there currently isn't any official or local integration available for TT Lock. However, there is a great hacks integration that will allow you to control your smart locks using the TT Lock Cloud. So let's get it set up. For this setup, you'll need to have a TT Lock connected device that you've already set up and registered with the TT Lock Cloud. You'll also need to turn on the remote connection feature within whatever TT Lock app you're using. For this video, I'm making use of one of Simple Smart Locks, which I covered in a video that you can check out just here. You're also going to need to have a TT Lock Bluetooth to Wi Fi hub if your particular device doesn't have any integrated Wi Fi. And if you've got all of those things, we can get straight into the setup. The first thing we'll need to do is to head over to the TT Lock Open Platform page and set up and register an application for OAuth. This registration just involves us creating an application by setting a name, a logo, a type, and a description. For the application name, you can just put anything that's meaningful to you. The same goes for the logo. In the type, just select app, and then you'll need to also provide a small description for why you want to register the app. Here's a little look at what I wrote for mine a couple of months ago, so feel free to copy that if you want. With all of those fields entered, just go ahead and press submit. The application review time can vary. It could be a couple of hours or a couple of days. I think when I did this a couple of months ago, it was a couple of hours, but I guess it depends on how many applications they're being sent and how many people they have actually working on the whole review process. While you sat there waiting for your application to be reviewed though, you could hit the like button. You could also set up and install the hacks integration so it's ready for when you do get your application approved. To set up this custom integration, you will need to have Hacks installed. And if you aren't sure what Hacks is or what it does, then check out this video that I've created here, which will give you a simple run through of what it is and how to set it up. Over at Hacks then, do a search for TT Lock and it's this one by Jay Burglar. Select it and then just select download. It's at this point now you will need to have the client ID and secret that you'll get back when your application's approved. So if it's not yet approved, you will just need to sit and wait. And if it is approved, you can just carry on with the installation. With our application now approved, we can head into settings, integrations, and do a search for TT Lock. Selecting this will prompt us for a name, the OAuth ID, which was given to us in our approved app, and also the client secret, which again was also given in the approved app. Go ahead and enter those details and then just press add. We're then going to be asked for the login details for the mobile app that our smart lock's connected to. In my case, it's just the TT lock, but you can get other apps that are rebranded and just reskinned that all do use TT lock. So whichever app you're using, it'll just be the email and password for that particular application. So go ahead and enter those details and then press add. With those entered, you'll hopefully then see the success message and you can assign your device or devices to an area. If you head into your integrations, you should now be able to see TT Lock along with any of your connected devices. And from here, you could just select those devices and you can view its controls and sensors. In my case, it's my workshop door and I can now unlock and unlock the door using Home Assistant. But there we go, guys. That's been a little look at how to add TT Lock devices into Home Assistant. If you've got any issues or questions about how to set this up or what to do, then feel free to drop a comment below. Alternatively, you can head over to Jonas's GitHub page where there's a bunch of troubleshooting and help questions available there. If this video has been helpful and useful, then don't forget to drop me a like. And if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.